we move on to the next match and we got uh, number three. Yep, number three, we got Greg DeGrazia right. playing uh, our number 10 seed, Eric Chose from Wetaskiwin. Greg's from Thunder Bay. Greg's from Thunder Bay. And uh, Mark, you've had some personal experience uh, bowling against Greg in, yes, the, in, in the 2010 Nationals. You, you won the team gold event and uh, you were also uh, Alberta singles rep that year and uh, played in the stepladder final to, uh, for the Canadian singles title. And uh, so you know Greg's got game. Yep. And uh, uh, you know, it, it, Greg's, I love watching Greg because you don't know whether he's punched a three pin uh, and open the frame where he's on an eight bagger. He never changes his demeanor, the same all the time. And uh, he just throws the, a, a great ball. And Greg was on the show uh, two years ago, I believe, and he had three sets of aces in five frames. So I'm sure he's looking for a little redemption for sure. Yeah, and uh, he's going against Eric, who, uh, who put on a great performance. It's his first match. And uh, I know, uh, like you said, it, Eric was looking for redemption from previous years. So uh, I'm sure they're gonna have a great match. For sure. There we go. Okay, Greg is the high seed and he's, he, he has elected uh, Eric to start. So interesting there, both Greg, Jordan and Dexter all wanted their opponent to go first. So they get the opportunity to finish first, right? And throw two frames, two frames, two frames. Because we'll see Eric throw one frame and then everybody's gonna throw two frames alternating afterwards. And we're still $100 a frame here. Great start by Eric. Oh, that's a good no. start. Eric, uh, this is Greg's first match, but Eric uh, had a match a little while ago, so he's been sitting for an hour or so. And yeah. But and his, uh, in uh, Eric's first match, he came out the first couple of frames, he was throwing the ball down and a little bit slow, but he came out uh, a little more aggressive there. Okay. Greg's just uh, shaking the cobwebs yeah. off there. <laughs> got that one Should got we say that's his warm-up ball? Yeah. yeah, that one got we away got from a him a little bit. contrast in, uh, in emotions out here, too. Greg, you can't tell anything that's going on. And Eric's, Eric's got lots of enthusiasm. Okay, Greg can clean it up for 15. But we've seen Greg DeGrazia on some of his qualifying shifts and some of his tournaments that can just, he can bowl all day long. Yeah, at he's a very high level of play. Very machine-like, yeah. very machine-like. You know, we've seen him qualifying shifts of 2400s. And, you know, as you can see, not a whole lot of emotion and just you know, keeps a pretty even keel. Very, very simple approach, right? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes lays the ball down a little bit too much, right? But you, you don't, don't uh, for his style, style, you don't want to get the ball too far out in the lane. But uh, sometimes he will lay the ball down if he gets in trouble. So if his footwork's off a little there. Yeah, back to back three pins. Not gonna. Yeah, he does. Uh, from what I remember about Greg, he does look a little fast with his feet right now. He does look a little quick in his standing yeah. and going. Not quite as quick as the Taylors or the Dexters, but that's better. That's there a, we that's go. A, that's that's a good, good recovery. That's all right. well, I got to practice it on the frame before, so. You know, guys, I just want to uh, take a second here. We talk about the WCBT and when it was formed, and now we got all this television going. I want to give a shout out to Kerry Kreitz, right? They call him the president, the CEO. The you know he does everything for this. Runs this, um, just a great job in setting this program up for the bowlers in Western Canada and bowlers in general. And uh, that was a great shot by, by Eric. That's and uh, Kerry's a great bowler in his own right. He's been on this uh, production before. Uh, he's won cash tournaments and has won national championships. So um, just want to shout out to Kerry and all yeah. the hard work he does. Absolutely well deserved. Okay, let's see if he starts off with a triple here. A little tight, so chop off. Good start. Little, a little bit less first emotion than he was in his first match, but yeah. still a uh, very confident throw, yeah. good roll. Yeah, if that, that might have gone down for a strike, we might have seen a little more yeah. emotion, but yeah. obviously maybe he knew that didn't quite have the stuff on it. Good turn that he wanted. But great fingers on that ball. You can, you can sure see his backup um, with yeah. the type of ball that he throws. You can see that the fingers on it underneath are, are really moving at the end and snapping, so that pin action goes. Greg wasting no time. Oops, Ooh, he just carried the corner. Got, got away with yeah. that one. So Greg wins a third frame. So now it's two to one. Maybe Greg stayed up a little, a little late yeah. last night or something. <laughs> we may have to ask Greg that question. Yeah. He looks like he's starting to feel it now. And that's the thing. He can 
a lot like these Dexter and guys that you can get on a roll and just start going. And Greg's not a guy to miss the middle either. He's he's dead on. Uh, like I like to say he's he's pretty machine like. Right? Yeah, he's like I was just looking at some of his wins. He's won the Timmins Invitational two out of the last three years. And he's got some okay. Canadian Open titles and Heritage Traditional Champion, Scottsdale Champion. So there's a spare and four. His, uh, his dad, John's a, a good bowler too and has supported the Western tournaments. And Yeah, he, and not as much the last few years, but yeah, he was out every year, every yeah. tournament. Yeah. 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 Greg was 17, yeah. bringing him out. Yeah. Eric looking for a strike here. Oh, and he oh, knew yeah. it as soon as he threw it, didn't yeah. he? Great, Great shot. shot. Yeah. Okay, that's another frame for Eric. So three frames to one. It's so, so fun. fun to watch a player when you throw that ball, and as soon as you release it, you know that it's going to be a strike. Oh, that's such a, a good feeling, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. When you throw that ball and you can just walk away, oh, you just want to pat yourself on the back, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> like. Oh, and then a pusher. See, Good that's, shot. That's the yeah. role that yes. he didn't have last time yeah. he was on that even lane. Yeah. In frame three when he got the chop off. A little bit higher up on the headband, but still yeah. had enough fingers and action that it just all kept going. Okay, Greg has got to start throwing some strikes here now. Whoop. All right, he gets, that's, gets that's another one there. That's yeah. funny, the two strikes he's thrown yeah. have been the two balls he's been off balance. So carry over in five. So we're three to one right now for Eric but a carry over in five. New York's got a bit of lead in pinfall, yeah, but still. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big carry over. That's a better double for Greg. You gotta think he's getting warmed up and ready to ready to fire a whole bunch. He's getting pumped out there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. can't you tell? <laughs> I, that's what I like about him though too. He can keep even keel and yeah, have that so focus. Some of us get a little emotional than others. It doesn't always help. Oh, he let it go behind go, yeah. himself. Yeah. That one was down, that's for sure. Okay, so there's two frames now for Greg. Five and six. We're back to 3-3. Three, three. Okay. three frames apiece. Yeah. We haven't had a match this tight in frames for quite yeah. a while. Yeah. I thought it was 4-2 actually, but no, you're right. Ooh. See, now pinball's pretty close too. It's, yeah. it's going to go. It's going to be a barn burner, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. <laughs> So Eric will throw this ball, and regroup, and get himself set for the seventh frame to be the leader in the seventh. Put the pressure on a little bit. No. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Thirteen there. Sort of He's just telling himself, "Okay, yeah. it's over. Regroup." Yeah. Yep. That's, a, you know, That's the yeah. hardest thing, right? Is yeah. to be able to let something go and forget yeah. it. But you, you know, these athletes, the back right away you these athletes, I mean, they're to throw the ball. You, you have to. This game's glass half full all the time. That's better. There you go. Yeah, yeah good, good shot. shot. Greg throws a strike here. He'll be uh, leading in pinfall. That was his shot. Yeah. That was, that was his All of them, their right left there. pocket, right? That was good Last solid few balance. left pocket. Ball out in the lane. Yeah, it's a carryover, but he has taken the lead in pinfall. Oh, That's another good, good one, though. That's really good, good one. That's the shot that I've seen yeah. him throw when he's on his yeah. lane. A little bit of balance at the end, but yeah. he still finished the shot in the same time. It doesn't matter afterwards, right? As long as arms are in the right place, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think all of Greg's have been left pocket. Yeah. All right. Now as great as uh, Eric started, he's got to have this. It's close. Oh, a little tight. So that's uh, just two frames for Greg. There's five. Oh. Three, five, three. Five, three so far, yeah. And he's got a little, Greg's got a little edge and pinfall. Whoop. See, it's amazing how the match can, if you don't give up, it yeah. just can change in my life. That's why you said, when you guys were talking about, you don't have a lot of time. No. You know, and he went from being in a good position to to not being in a good well, position, and then all of a sudden it's, you press. Yeah. Right? You yeah. press. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Yeah. Press. 
And, you know, the experience of Greg DeGrazio sure so showed there, right? You know, a couple of three pins early, but was able to spare the one and two. And then, okay, I threw two really bad balls. But there's a better one. Needed, needed that. Yep. yep. It's always nice to have that strike in the ninth to yep. set it up for a big finish in 10, right? Especially a pinball might come into play. Exactly. Yeah. Not, not much time taken here by Greg. You know, gets set and goes. See his feet Again. now? His oh, feet are okay. much better. That's yeah. a win for Yeah. It's a win for Eric. That's a win for Eric, yeah. Five four. Five four, but down in pinfall. Yeah, Eric's max is three oh two. So you see a spare and first ball here coming for Greg and he could shut this out. Oh nope. missed. All right, well it's that keeps him alive. Sure. Now Greg's gonna need a mark and ten to shut him out yeah. for pinfall. Every pin is important right now. There's that right corner miss, right? You know, it's the more difficult of the two corners because you're... You got you know, that one over there. For right-handed bowlers anyways. Right well, it right depends right. if you have a backup because I, I like the right better. But I think he throws a little backup motion. Yeah, yeah, he's got a little backup motion. I'm not At sure least that's what he wrote down on the sheet anyway. Whether the ball moves that way that much, but it's got the motion too. Okay, oh, yeah. So we're 294 now, a spare. 296 and you got a ball in hand, you know. Yeah. Oh, he hit it, he got it. He was going. So he needs a side to shut him out. Yeah, he's he's, he's got to have a head. He's got yes, yes, if but he, not if a he five pin, not a head pin. Five, Eric can strike out That's right. Two, three, oh, right. Oh, he missed. Oh, okay, he a Eric Jost has a chance. Three strikes in a row to win by one. Yeah, he has to get them all. All right. So that's Eric's what, as a bowler, that's all you want. Just give me an inch. Just, just give me a chance. This is what I was talking about when I want to be up there. Yeah. Everybody's done. I want to win the game. There's one for him. Yeah. Yeah, and he knows too. He knows exactly what he needs to do. Right? Needs two more strikes. Got a little oh, quick there. Sticky. Oh, that's unfortunate. But hey, good match by Greg DeGrazia. Way to dig that back yeah, up to two, three yeah, pins. Yeah, way to dig in. You know, we'll be interesting so to hear from him of those couple of three he's pins. Win the frame as long as he hits yeah. pin. So another five five match. So it's a five five match, but based on total pinfall, two, that's where Greg DeGrazia wins. Yeah. So Greg DeGrazia is our uh, our winner and we'll be moving on to the next round. Uh, well done, Eric Shows. You had a good showing. Another exciting match there uh, came right down to the wire in the 10th frame. I had Greg DeGrazia with a 301 and Eric Chose with a 277, both five frames apiece, so it came down to score. Uh, obviously, Greg had a slow start. And a little slow start. Had a little problem with his feet getting going. Uh, they were a little quick, and once he got his feet slowed down, his rhythm came together, and uh, typical Greg fashion, just n nailed that left pocket and, uh, and looked really good. Uh, I was a little surprised he gave... Uh, Gave Eric a chance at the end to win it there with his miss on the last ball, but uh, you know that's that's the game. Uh, you know uh, Eric had a chance to win it 3:02, 3:01, and uh, that's what made the match exciting. But uh, again, that one's done, and we're on to the next match. And we've got uh, our number four seed, uh, Tyler Titcat from Edmonton here. Um, boy, so many great things to say about this young bowler. Uh, you know, um, former champion of former the champion. two years ago. Uh, well, he was still in YBC no less, right? I mean, that's that's tough to do. Uh, started bowling in these things uh, at a young age, so he's comfortable with the situation of bowling all these great people. Uh, Scott Wiseman, uh, proprietor here, here today, uh, was talking about the COVID and how the championships for a lot of the bowling levels have been uh, shut down, um, which includes Tyler's last year and being able to do things. And he said it's really too bad because Tyler's probably the best YBC bowler of all time. 
And you know what? I'm not sure I disagree with that. Yeah, I probably but, have to agree too. <laughs> yeah, that's how good that's how good this kid is. Um, but on the other hand, he's pulling a uh, uh, upstart bowler and and Dwayne uh, uh, Gillardi. Yeah. And uh, we saw how tough he was in the first match. You know, the sports background, a solid mind. So should be another good match. Yeah, Dwayne uh, is definitely a cool. He's an intense individual, but he he was very calm and focused, and he did a good job of. Of, of not getting too overexcited yeah. and whatnot. So, yeah. should be a good match. Should be. Okay, let's take a few moments to acknowledge our sponsors and thanks for all your support over the year.